those who built the pyramids are known just that it's unbelievable when you are told who in this video we will show you the proof of this of the seven wonders only one is standing it's in africa the seven wonders includes the great pyramid of giza hanging gardens of babylon statue of zeus colossus of rhodes temple of artemis the mausoleum of alicarnassus the pharos lighthouse of alexandria all these majority of them are in uh, greece but we can tell you that the two of them that are found in africa are still standing of the most imposing ancient human constructions including amazing cities many can be found in africa they include the ruined city of great zimbabwe mapungubwe in south africa kenya's gedi ruins and merowe or marwa in sudan perhaps the most awe-inspiring of these the last remaining or the of the seven wonders of the earth is that of the great pyramid in ancient africa in, in giza who built the pyramids the question has baffled each and every thinking human being some say extraterrestrials are built the pyramids some say the aliens taught humans to build the pyramids some say no it humans who built the pyramids no aliens were involved some say humans taught the aliens to build the pyramids and some insist that there are actually aliens that can be seen uh, in the walls or around the walls in ancient Egypt. So some say a race of humans that left no descendants. The answer may be inferred from the introduction. Meanwhile, the shocking answer to who built the pyramids stares us all in our faces right here in Africa. You will be taken aback when we show you some of the proofs. The proof of ancient society's ingenuity is clearly demonstrated here as they signed off their work do you think the most intelligent people to ever walk the earth would forget to emboss their work it gets worse when other pyramids mushroom all over the earth mexico and southern america there are pyramids that look exactly like the stepped pyramid in ancient africa in indonesia there are also stepped pyramids that look exactly like the one in ancient africa tikal maya ruins in Guatemala. They are pyramids. In India, they are pyramids. That looks like that. More pyramids. There are more pyramids in Sudan than in current Egypt. In Europe and China too, there are pyramids there that look exactly like the ones in Egypt in Africa. In China, there are pyramids in the province of Shanxi and Iraq. They are like that. Mexico, Sudan, Bosnia, all over, there are pyramids. You can find a lot of the information on this website we are indicating here why the egyptian pyramids are popular all the other pyramids on earth are unique but they fall short they lack the astrological precision that the egyptians and mayans have the egyptian pyramid of giza you can see it's unique the pyramid lies in the exact center of all the land area of the world dividing the earth's land mass into approximately Equal quarters is shown by this side uh, player's uh, slide. You can see that the zero line of time used to go right across ancient Egypt, right into Africa, in Zimbabwe there. And now they have pushed it. It says it's the 30. The British pushed it. And now they have put it there. But this is the original. And the equator. And the 30, they have put it there. So that's not right. So it's the equator as well as the original. Then you can have the four equal parts of the earth the north south is the longest land meridian and the east west is the longest land parallel of the earth ignore the globe there is it exactly the proof another key to all this is that the pyramids in ancient egypt do not cast any shadows why because as we have already indicated they are at the center of uh, the earth it gets worse when you look at uh, a number of other factors the fact that it is all stonework uh, built in same style indicates that it is the same builder's same system of one source, one intelligence, and one information that built this. So the question is who built these superstructures and why? The answer is Hore Makuti. Hore Makuti. You know Hore Makuti uh, as the Sphinx. It is the guardian of the greatest pyramid, the lion, totemed ancient Egyptian representative of the cosmic heavens and the terrestrial lands the lion hore makuti the great pyramid of giza is the only pyramid in the world 
known to contain both ascending and descending passages as shown here. Why? Because of its centrality with the lines that are critical and important on the earth. The answer which we have given is quite provocative. However, the two Ukrainian researchers have proposed a new provocative theory suggesting that the Great Sphinx of Egypt may be around 800,000 years old. The study was presented at the International Conference of Geochemical Archaeology and Archaeomineralogy held in Sofia titled Geological Aspect of the Problem of Dating the Great Egyptian Sphinx Construction. It looks like that. So since we can see the Sphinx with our own eyes, we do not need DNA or any historian to come and tell us which what race this represents. It is not European, it is not Asian, it is not Indian, neither is it a disappeared Egyptian race. It is exactly as it is. There are people that look like this today. The Sphinx is a totemic structure which belongs to the Bantu or Black or African or Negro race. This majestic structure which you are looking at, which you are showing here, is the most mysterious on earth. There are no inscriptions on it. And they are said to be tunnels and passages leading below it. The images is displayed is the oldest before the restoration of the Sphinx. You can find a lot of information or on the internet and in books and by going there and looking and seeing this. It is Africoid. So this is the signature of the people that built the pyramids all over the earth. Here is the proof that this is the signature of those who built pyramids are known. They are black people. This is Quirigia, Guatemala. This is Kaminaju in Guatemala. They look African. Look the nose. Look the bull mouth. You look the structures. Everything. These are black people. The only question is will you believe your eyes or you won't believe your eyes? And we have shown you who built the pyramids. There is it. Aztec sun god Tonatihu. He is a representative of the people of the pre-Inca who built the pyramids that are similar to the ancient Egyptian ones like this. Similar people, similar buildings, similar alignments. The realhistory.com website shows you and proves uh, this beyond reasonable doubt. Why then did these black people, African people, build the pyramids? Some researchers have discovered that it is the pyramids aligned with the stars in the Orion uh, region, in the heavens. Adrian uh, Gilbert and Robert Bouval showed that like the pyramids, the three stars of Orion are not perfectly aligned. The smallest of them is slightly offset to the east. All three are slanted in a way southwesterly direction. Their orientation is uh, to the Nile, which recreates the Orion orientation to the Milky Way. So as above, so as below. That's quite clear. With great astronomical precision, the pyramids were created to serve as Pharaoh's gateway to the stars. It's a teaching that we are cosmic. It's a teaching that we are all connected to all the ancestral world is living. This is what it represents and it's a Bantu image. It's a Bantu structure with a totem. This is proof of the power and the importance of totems straight this is a lion with a human head and also there are totemic structures in the heavens so may know thyself so as above so as below cosmic network Horesu Makuti hail to you you who sign in your disc a living soul who goes up from the horizon I know you and I know your name I know the names of the seven cows and their bull who give bread and beer, who are beneficial to souls, and who provide daily portions. May you give bread and beer and make provisions for me, so that I may save you papyrus of Ani. You can find it on this website. This is a prayer showing cosmic connection. The seven bulls, the seven cows that you read in the Bible, the seven bulls, you, uh, grains of uh, wheat you read, all represent cosmic connection, natural connection. That's why the totems are critical. The pyramids and their shafts align with the stars. You can find this diagram showing all the connections which are also linked to the zodiac uh, uh, and also the Dendera zodiac and the poles and the Duat and the Pleiades so stars. This is the purpose of the pyramids. To teach us who are you. You are the descendant of those who built the pyramids all over the earth. You are also a descendant of a cosmic 
force, a cosmic energy that is experiencing the earth in you, inside you from the stars. So as above, so as below. So who built the pyramids? It is the people that looks like this. And the people that looks like the descendants of the people that looks like this are there today. Even Champollion confessed, early writers confessed that the necroid built the pyramids not only in ancient Egypt, as we have proved, but across the whole earth. That's how the earth was made alive. This is Priest Rabbi LM Tumizulu. Subscribe to our channel, Hamiti Ibru Ethics, propagating the real solutions to modern challenges. Mahati, our Bantu, our Ubuntu, and our oneness. Otherwise, we are in trouble. The true journey has just begun. Mkululom Sevens. Basa Iri Igur. Zikomo Tatenda Siabonga. Thank you. Goodbye.